We are Iowa's most accurate forecast with meteorologist Taylor Knust, certified by WeatherRate, the independent weather experts. All right, we're looking at quiet conditions today, but another storm heading our way this weekend. And following that storm, we are going to get pretty cold to wrap up February and begin March. So there's no real big time warm up in sight, which means that snow that's on the ground uh, probably is not going to go away anytime soon. Right now we're quiet with a temperature of 13 degrees. Light winds out of the west southwest at six miles per hour here in Des Moines and mostly clear skies across the entire state. And that's how it's going to stay most of the day today. We're keeping an eye on a developing storm that's uh, once again developing in the southwest US. This has kind of been the theme with recent storms starting out in that portion of the country and then moving our way. And that's what's what, what is what's again going to happen uh, late this week. So it doesn't really arrive here in Iowa uh, until Friday night to some extent, but really Saturday night is going to be uh, when we see the biggest impacts from this incoming storm. Here's a closer look at what we can expect with this storm. So again, Quiet throughout the day today, quiet tonight, maybe a couple snow showers in extreme northwest Iowa early tomorrow morning, but most of the state stays dry through tomorrow afternoon. Now, I, I do want to mention before the big impacts arrive Saturday night, we could have some minor impacts on Friday night with a little freezing rain possible. That's going to be most likely in the northern third of the state, but if temperatures manage to drop below freezing on Friday night here in central Iowa, then we would see some freezing rain in areas like Ames and Des Moines as well. Right now, we are forecasting a low of 33 in Des Moines, so it's going to be a really close call uh, to see whether or not we get that freezing rain. But nonetheless, nor the farther north you go, the more likely it is you get slick roads on Friday night. Into Saturday, we'll see temperatures probably stay just warm enough for primarily rain during the day on Saturday, and then we get that transition with cold air filling in on the backside of the system. That's when it switches over to snow. Now, this particular model has the heavy snow located over central Iowa, but not all model, models show that. In fact, there are some models that have the area of low pressure farther to the east and actually keep some of the snow in eastern Iowa. There are other models that keep the heavy snow in northwest Iowa, so we're still trying to pinpoint exactly where the heavy snow is going to be located, and that is hugely important, especially when you consider that you combine that with the wind, uh, the conditions wherever that heavy snow band develops are going to be absolutely brutal on Saturday night. So uh, wherever that does develop, travel absolutely not advised on Saturday evening through Saturday night. After that rolls through, it's going to stay windy all day Sunday. We'll see temperatures cooling down to the 20s and teens virtually all of next week. That's a high of 10 degrees on next Saturday. So unfortunately, we're going to be starting out March on the cold side. Hopefully it goes out like a lamb and much warmer at that.